uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, where, if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel, I'm Bushka, and this is the Mark 5 Yo review, the M5 Yo, the MV Yo, the Yo Eddie Yo Yo, don't know if I'd ever recommend this tank to anyone, even if I didn't like them, review. And then I'm going to show you, after this game, a game by Help of a Bug, a longtime channel aficionado, who's featured a few times with replays, just smashing with it. And we'll talk about why I don't like it, basically. Um, this is a tank which I drove a lot. I drove 28 games in it, and I won 50%. It had like 1,600 average damage, like really bad average damage. It's my least favorite of the new American heavies. Uh to put that into come, some kind of perspective, uh, the, yeah, it was 1600 average damage. The tier eight uh, variant of this tank with the three clip auto loader, I drove like 20 games in and had an 82% win rate or something with 1950 average damage. Like something like that. It was very, very close to that. And I was so happy with that tank and I think it's the best one in the line. And I was, I came to this one and I was like, oh my God, this is like a steaming pile of turd. I can't stand this. I'm going to break down why I really don't like it. And it's all about the gun. Um, this is just dog awful. The gun on this, there's two guns. And yet I feel like you've got to run the two shot to do the big damage. But the three shot seems to be, oh, <laughs> I mean, that's not the tank's fault. That's all Bushka right there. Um, the two shot has a 25 and a half second reload. Like, and you get two 450 alpha rounds. Like, that's 900. I don't understand why it has been so incredibly heavily penalized here. So you can, you can unleash your two shots very, very quickly at 1.71 seconds, but you have to wait 25 seconds to reload. That's 25 second reload. Your your damage per minute is under 2,000 damage. It's 1,985 damage. Uh, if you use the three shot, well, you'd think there'd be a huge benefit for using the three shot. Like on the tier 10, when you use the three shot gun on the tier 10, okay, it does uh, the same damage, basically 300 alpha, three times 300 alpha, but it has 3,000 DPM and it reloads in 13.02 seconds. The same gun, basically, the three-shot 105 millimeter on this tank does 1,965 DPM, so 30% less DPM, and reloads in 22 seconds. 22 seconds to reload that. That's, that's just absolutely nuts. So... If you run the two shot, you have a 25 second reload. And this is the T10 gun. If you run the three shot, you have a 22 second reload. Both of them have under 2000 damage per minute. And I find that just horrible. I find it so anemic. Like you're not a frontline heavy. Your armor profile is not the kind of armor profile that is going to keep people uh, from penning you like it's okay and it's awkward and i mean you look like a droid from clone wars you look like general grievous you look like kind of like jar jar binks without the ears you are not a good looking tank and yet the big benefit of this tank the big difference to all the other tanks is the one gun that can do 450 alpha 450 alpha with a 1.7 reload in between which is really really cool which is the gun that help the bug is running here now i want to point a couple of things out about this replay it is a very good drive it's an excellent drive the fundamentals are great and the tank has um good gun depression which is basically what you i mean you want to use the gun depression all the time right but this is a very very favorable matchmaking there's only two tier nines on the other team uh and help them a bug is going to be going up a lot of tanks that don't really have the ability to take advantage of his very low DPM. And that means that he's gonna play this really well, but this is my big issue with the tank, 
Like, this is the kind of matchmaking you dream of when you're in a T9 Heavy. But if he was in an Emil or something like that, and that would be my advice, just go and buy an Emil. Or if you want a gun depression heavy, just do something else. Like, this is this is not the tank, right? This is not the tank at all. Um, and I've got to say, it's, it's really frustrating for me to look at this, and I, I think this will get buffed. I honestly think this tank will get buffed. Maybe I'm just terrible uh, at water tank splits, which plenty of people will tell me I am terrible at water tank splits, but like watching someone have to, like this is a heavy that needs support. Think about that. This is not a heavy that can just solo out in the flank and work around and either kill you with speed or armor profile. It has neither the speed nor the armor profile to really take advantage, unless of course you're obviously playing against tier eight tanks which case you should have that kind of advantage. The turret traverse is good. You can see here, help him a bug is easily tracking uh, the light. No problems, good stuff. Um, but he's also using that by using his own tracks as well. So, I mean, he's a good driver. He knows what he's doing. And he's angling up to his targets and you're gonna see he drives through behind bushes and stuff to keep keep a clear line of, uh, line of sight away from the reds. But if you push this tank, like, it's disastrous for the tank. You, you know, I run the three shot on the T10 because there's such a clear DPM advantage and because the, um, you know, the reload time is so much lower. It's like 13 seconds on the T10 to reload the three shot. This There's no real advantage to running the three shot on the T9 and I don't understand why that is. Look how he's driving through the uh, soft cover keeping keeping himself from being spotted like all these kind of things so album my bug is doing a good job but he's also doing a good job by not overextending now overextending is something you can get away with in an op tank and this tank maybe is more shaving towards balanced um and that could be my issue really is that i'm so used to when wargaming release a new line the line's broken <laughs> like the the british lights needing to be nerfed and the grill getting nerfed almost upon impact when it was released because it had like a 0.26 dispersion gun and these kind of things happen and you're like just oh well they'll they'll nerf it after but this has been released balance like to be honest it's probably just gonna sit in this space quite happily but this is not a tank you should be aspiring to drive i would get just the emil and the crown like they will do a lot better for you in terms of damage output. They will do a lot better for you in terms of armor profile. And they'll do a lot better for your team because you can hold a line with that. That is a, a heavy tank. If you want pure damage output, get a 57 heavy or run that line or or maybe run the French uh, AMX 5120, something along those lines. And helping a bug is driving this very, very well. But I watched the replay to see if I was missing anything. And I don't feel like any of the points that I'm making are being dispelled. He is so reliant on the tank that he is with to uh, support and clean up. He can't afford to be left on his own because once you miss one, it is really rough. You're running a two shot auto loader, but if you miss one of them, you are doing 450 alpha every, what is it? So you fire every 25 seconds, you're getting a chance to fire again. And if for, that is not enough damage. Like if you miss a shot, you are missing out on so much of your damage output. I just don't like it. Don't like it, don't like it, can't make me drive it. I won't drive it again. And I drive it a lot, 28 games, man. I gave this thing a chance. I gave both the guns a run. I worked the numbers, I did my level best. And it just, it just doesn't do the business. And the... <laughs> I don't know where the engine is. Is the engine, is this the one where the engine is like in the turret? Because I was getting module damage that was just really surprising to me. You're going to see, he's going to push here because he's got two 450s, but he's going to miss one. And now it's like, uh, okay. I hope that other tank's there to save me because I'm about to get DPM'd. Oh, okay. Good. Anyway, I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, I'm Help Up A Bug. That's a great drive, really good drive, getting the most out of that tank and playing it really well. That's exactly how you should play it. 5,300 damage. Well done, amigo. Until next time, look after yourself, stay safe on the battlefield, and uh, bye for now. Remember to like and subscribe, and that stuff.